This may be the hottest spot in Canada right now. It's the proud home of Team Jacobs, Canada's Olympic team for 2014. And this is a sidelined Olympic special. We're gonna take you inside the Sioux Curling Club to meet the team. Alright, so sideliners, we're here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario with the Canadian Olympic skip of the curling team heading to Sochi, Brad Jacobs. Alright, I'm here with Ryan Fry of the Canadian Olympic curling team heading to Sochi, EJ Harding. So now I'm with Ryan, Ryan Harding. Ryan, could you just go over your role with this team a little bit, not only position-wise, but what you bring to this team? Uh, well, position-wise, I'm the lead, so I set up the ends. Uh, I pretty much do it all. That's, uh, you know, my job is to uh, make sure all these guys do everything I say, and other than that, no, no, I just... Uh, I think I bring some intensity, <laughs> and I think if you if you watch uh, any one of the games that, that we play in, I, I'm definitely, uh, the energy's there. Most of my job is sweeping as hard as I possibly can, so you got to be in the best shape. My job is to back up Brad, and, uh, you know, I'm kind of the... Uh, in-between guy between our front end, EJ and Ryan and Brad. I'll do anything to win, so uh, I think I bring a lot to the table for our team. You grew up in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Growing up here, what was it like being a curler in a town that, a very well, a very good sports town, but one that's more known for hockey? What was that like growing up being the curler? Like you said, it is more, has been more known as a hockey town, but I think uh, with our recent success, it's becoming, you know, almost 50-50 with hockey. It's pretty close. There's a lot of hype about the curling, so uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good. It's getting a lot better for the youth. If you could be any other, any other team, on any other team, yeah. any sport, any sport, any country in the Olympics, wow. which one would it be? Oh, any other sport and country, eh? And, and country, yeah. So think of those wild fans for, you know, the, the different sports, like those crazy luge fans. You know and what? I'd probably be want to be part of that Russian hockey team just because how crazy uh, it's going to be on those guys at the Olympics, right? They have a lot of pressure on them, and I'm sure Putin will be there making the calls instead of the coach. So maybe be on that Russian hockey team, even though I don't, I'm not a fan of the Russians for hockey, but uh, just to be a part of that team would be pretty crazy. It's a good thing you clarified that. Be Ovechkin, too. Yeah, there'd be a lot of angry people if you didn't clarify that. You know yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> it's got to be hockey. I mean, you have really the entire country and the entire world watching when you're playing Olympic hockey. Curling's very fortunate there as well. We got a, a real big following and a, a good TV audience, but it'd be very similar, I guess. So, I mean, we enjoy the curling experience. Like I said, national TV, lots of people there usually cheering you on. And it's a pretty wild crowd, and I think hockey would uh, would be very similar, so i go with that one. So Canada hockey? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> He's <just got> kicking. <laughs> I would probably uh, chuck myself off a pipe and be Mark McMorris for a day. Really? Yeah. And why? Because he got a crazy contract with Red Bull and he's making serious cash. That's a shout out to Red Bull. Red Bull, you need the Canadian curling team to be signed for a ton of dough. Yes. Yes. Please. Ton. And here's what I'm worried. I'm more upset about is I've asked all you guys, what, you know, your favorite team. Mine was obviously the Jamaican bobsled team. Yeah, that's, but they didn't win though. So they won our hearts. Uh, I know, but just, hearts is one thing. I'd rather win gold. What was it like when you guys realized you won? Everything was set in stone, you were going to the Olympics. It was almost like relief because it's a long, hard week. Uh, it feels longer than normal because there's less games over a longer period of time. And um, I really felt, and we all really felt like we were the best team all week. We went undefeated in the round robin, but you still have to go out in that final game and prove yourself and prove that you can win. Um, so when it was all over with, it was total relief because uh, we had played so well all week and I, we all really felt like we deserved to win. So it was uh, obviously we were all, you know, elated, just super happy to have, have won that. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, oh, I can, you can breathe now, you know. Okay, and the other thing with curling is in curling, you always go with the team of the, the skip. It's, it's named after the skip is yep. what I should say. So your team Jacobs. Does it bother you at all that it's named after your cousin, the team, like your, your team Jacobs? No, you know, it doesn't. I mean, being a skip, uh, they, they need a lot of attention. 
and, and, and a lot of the spotlight, and they all they want it all on them. And I'm fine with that. As long as he's making shots, I'll, I'll, I'll go get his water for him, his coffee, I'll make his bed, I'll do whatever he needs in order to make that last shot to win a game. So I, I say let, let it stand and just let him uh, run with it and let him take all the recognition and I'll just sit behind and do what I do and just accept it. No, no, no. It's been like that since I've been growing up. So uh, I'm getting used to it. But I think last year we did it right. I think we went under our... Um, our main sponsor, so we went under Team Easy Express. So I think more teams should do that, but we uh, decided to go back to Team Jacobs. So you know, Canada's worst worry is true. He's a bit of a prima donna, isn't he? He's he he likes to be pampered. Put it that way. Yeah. I don't know. It's maybe uh, another topic to bring up amongst uh, the team because it, it's better to you know bring it forward as a team name and maybe label it after your your best sponsor. So. Well, Brad, just so happens I'm prepared. I got a list of suggestions, if you will. All right, all right. So we have a couple here. If you like them, tell me. If sure. not, you can shake them off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like what you said. Easy Express. How about we have we have the Rock and Roll Express. Okay. The Rock and Rollers. Yeah. The, Sounds more like uh, on skates, roller skating team, so I'll go with no on that one. Lord of the Rings. That's a good one. Uh, we have Lord of the Rings, because you, you won Lord that of was, the Rings. That was right? not okay. bad. Uh, the Stoners. <laughs> um... The stoners, but people might get confused with that yeah, one. I don't you know? Know. Yeah, yeah. Plus, uh, yeah. Yeah. there's a whole bunch of testing that goes yeah, on in the Olympics. Um, you already get bugged enough about that, so. Um, this one could confuse people. The stoners. Yeah. You know, not a good one for us. Yeah, I no, I, I yeah. don't think so either. No. Okay, we're sorry. Yeah, about that. yeah, we've been there. As our bad. We, we, we've been there, done. That was Calvin's <laughs> idea, by the way. So broom kings. No, not bad. Not bad. The late broomers. You know, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, you can yeah, pull yeah, your yeah, team yeah. a little bit. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Give them a lead, yeah. but then come back, or maybe the, like, the rock like sharks. Yeah, like okay. Uh, what about the late broomers? No, I don't like that one. We're already there. Uh, brush hour. Yeah. All right. Uh, and broom goes the dynamite. dynamite. That's a pretty good one, actually. I kind of like that. Okay. A little long, though, but. Uh, broom goes the dynamite. Uh, no. no. Not no, feeling that one? That, one. <laughs> that, if not, that, that if one not, could be a movie, I think. Uh, yeah, if not yeah. your team name, yeah. that could be your catchphrase. Then, well, yeah. Like you get a shot. <laughs> Broom goes a dynamite, <laughs> baby. Woo! I'll you feel that? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll All work right. on that, but I mean, you can help us out with that. Okay. Well, here's here's my favorite one. Yeah. Well, here, here's mine, my favorite one. Okay. But this one's my favorite one. Team Sweep Dreams. Ooh, I like that one. It's good, eh? Yeah, I like that one. It's good. Like it's good. That's I, good. That's, that's a good one. That that has a lot of emotion behind it. There's it seems like there's some sort of like I don't know. It's it it could hit a soft spot as well. People could be pulled in by that. Yeah, I like that. It's yeah. a pretty good yeah, one. We'll right? go with that. Is that the one we're going with? Yeah, we'll go with that one. All right. So we have Team Sweet Dreams competing in the Olympics. <laughs> it's now official from our lead. All right. You guys are pretty good. So I don't know if this has happened to you, but. Have you ever had a moment where you had a lapse and accidentally swore? Because I, I swear a lot yeah, when I yeah. play sports. Yeah. So have you ever had that moment where you're mic'd up live TV oh, yeah. and you just drop an F-bomb? And like, have you ever gotten in trouble for that or anything? I don't know if I've dropped an F-bomb, but I've definitely probably dropped something that I, I shouldn't have. Um, none of us, as far as I know, have got fined or it's been to that extent where it's, uh, you know, there's punishments that come with it, but we've all, I mean, we've all let it slip and I'm pr pretty sure every curler has. That's a unique thing about curling and the sport of curling is that you can literally hear everything we're saying. You can hear, you know, when we have a runny nose, you can hear everything and not many sports get that. I think that's a cool thing because the fans get a real good in intimate experience uh, with you and not in the way that some may think, but uh, in terms of hearing what you're gonna say. Yeah. So this might be a good marketing opportunity for you. Maybe get that Red Bull ad. We're having an interview here! <laughs> Full on Canada. Come on! Take your hat off, man. Do you want to stand for this? Yeah. This is good practice for the Olympics. Yeah, this is starting to look at Hopefully they're not playing it during a bronze medal or silver medal game. It's not gonna happen. All right. I bet or not, I put a lot of money down on you guys. <laughs> a ton. They're, one of the things about Team Jacobs is that they're probably the most jacked team in curling yeah. right now. So <laughs> yeah. my first question is, how heavy is this rock? Do you know? Uh, it's around 40, 45, somewhere in there. 40, 45 pounds. Okay, so yeah. do, you, do you guys have sports-specific workouts? Can you curl these things? Do you do push-ups while sliding on the ice? Anything like that? Anything uh, special? Uh, well, you know, we don't really do that, but uh, we could probably curl them. Yeah, probably curl them? shoulder press them, something like that. I don't know. I think doing push-ups, you know, push-up rows would be a little tough. But Now, now we, we go to the big stage. We yeah. win the big battle. Yeah. What's the celebration plan? 
And what is your favorite celebration? My favorite one is uh, John Montgomery walking down I, with well, the beer. I want to do that too, for sure. But you never know, we got to win still. So if it, if it happens, then you'll probably see me walking down the village or somewhere with a pitcher of beer. And maybe I'll just dump it on my head instead of, instead of drinking. I'll just. Like Stone Cold Steve yeah, Austin with a pitcher? Yeah. And then I'll have one and then start sipping it. Yeah. Listen, if you guys bring me with you, okay. I will have pitchers <laughs> ready regardless. Because you know what? Win or lose, hit the booze, right? Hit the booze, right. That's yeah. a great well, northern Especially thing. if we lose. So yeah. we usually hit the booze harder when we lose than when we win. So. All right. What was the craziest or weirdest? fan there's a lot of weird crazy curling fans yeah, yeah. like weird crazy what's the weirdest craziest encounter you've had as a curler uh for me it hasn't been too bad actually i haven't ran into too many things but when we were at the worlds in victoria last year we had a guy that wanted brad to literally sign his name and then draw a picture on the top of his head and he was bald so i thought that was interesting i won't disclose what brad drew but it's he probably uh was shocked when he saw it the next day well <laughs> big thing with the Olympics is, you know, we see the world in curling. Curling's our big one. You know, hockey, curling are the ones we watch. Not to put any pressure on you. Yeah, Sorry. No pressure. But, uh, you know, one thing that catches our eye is, is Norway's pants. Yeah. All right. Very stylish, very fashionable, but they're quiet, guys. No yeah. one really cares, right? Yeah. Now, what we need are the bad boys of curling. <laughs> and who better than Northern Ontario curlers? Yeah. You know, and I mean, look at you. This jacket looks like it's puffy. It's not. This guy's jacked. <laughs> now, what we're thinking is we get personalized rocks, all right? Personalized metallic rocks. So what if we like personalize the rocks? Personalize the Personalized rocks, metallic rocks. Yeah. All right? Okay. Shiny gold. Yeah. You know, let's prove yeah. a point. We're yeah. here for gold. We already have it. We're just taking it back, all right? Yeah. So you got the shiny gold rocks, cut off sleeves. Yeah. Cut off sleeves, uh, maybe a little bit of chest hair. And maybe I'm thinking cut off sleeves. Yeah, I'd be down for both of those. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I would do it. What the hell? I get to uh, throw some uh, throw some sponsors on tattoos and go from there. How about no jerseys? Shirtless. Yeah, we'll just we'll just paint our sponsors on. I think you're on the right track, but instead of doing uh, cutoffs, I say we just paint them on. You're the second guy to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not even sponsors. You know what you say? Get new sponsors. More and get them to pay you more. Uh, I don't know. Ours are pretty good to us, but uh, you never know. We could get some more. Ask for more money. Uh, it's not that easy. When you take your shirt off, it yeah. is. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Would Canada <laughs> be down for that? Like Team Canada curling? Uh, I don't think they would be. Um, you'd have to take it up with them. I don't know. I, I like the cutoff idea. See? They but get, the guys, especially the sweepers, they get pretty hot. So. This, this is what I'm talking about. Bad boys of curling. Who cares what they say? Sideline said you can do it. <laughs> yeah, okay, well then I guess we're doing it. I mean. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, Brad. Okay. Here's, here's my deal now. We're, uh, we're here right now, and one of your teammates uh, isn't feeling so well, which brings a, a big eye opener. Um, anything could happen. Someone could fall. You might need somebody. You're in Russia. Just so happens, you know, I watch a lot of curling. I do. Okay. Never played it, but it looks really easy. It's easy. It, it looks incredibly easy. Um, <laughs> But I, I want you to take a look at my stuff. Maybe if you can just maybe coach me through a couple shots. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, think I have a shot here? Well, I mean, it, like you said, it's pretty easy. I mean, you should be, you should be fine. All right. We need a guy, so this is your shot. This is my shot. This <laughs> is where Joey Slattery becomes an Olympian. Right here, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Nice. Let's go do this, Brad. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have you ever done this before? Really? You step on the ice with the gripper part? This one? Yeah. Very slow. Very slow. Very slow. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows this. 
Well, Brad, I think this is uh, I think this is easy. We just gotta take out that front one there, take out this one, we'll get that one to curl around, tap out this one to bounce off our rocks and this one right here, knocking these two out and falling right in the middle for the bullseye. Really? I think so. It's pretty tough. I, I kind of think we should just just hit that and take our one. What do you think? Well, that's taking the easy way out. Yeah. Not as Canadian Olympians, we'd have a little bit more of a, a little more show to our game. I mean, but if you like it, we can play it. But. You're Brad Jacobs, and Brad Jacobs tells me to go down the middle. I guess I gotta go down the middle. We're going down the middle. Going down the middle. All right. See one shot for gold for Team Sweet Dreams. Sochi 2014. It's everything you've ever dreamed of. Right here in a sport you literally just started playing. Do this in the country of Canada. So, Brad, you make a team? No. Why? Because you know nothing about curling and you're terrible. So, better luck next year. Can you guys at least sign my shirt? Yeah, we can do 